Pat, what'd you think? I thought it was funny. I thought it was weird to hear Olaf in the dog's right? voice, but right? That's it was true. also sad. The puppy dying in the very beginning, that was... Yeah, like but it that. was cute, and it had a lot of like funny elements mm -hmm. to it. I mean, it was, it was decent. I honestly didn't go into this movie with very high expectations, and so <laughs> it, kind of, it kind of surpassed the expectations that I had, which is good. Oh. Um, but yeah, this movie should be an easy one for you guys to talk about. Obviously, I think that you guys should start with the question that the movie starts with is basically, is there a purpose to life? Yeah, and also you can kind of go through and look at even some of the quotes. Um, that's kind of what we did mm -hmm. to, to kind of put things together. Like Bailey says, um, you know, in the, somewhere in the middle of the movie that sometimes I thought that trying to make sense of life was a waste of time. And so maybe it's better to just have fun. And I think that's kind of where culture is right now. You only live once. Yep. Live a life to the fullest, you know, regardless of the consequences. So, yeah. yeah. Kind of. At the end of Bailey's fourth life, which... Who knows how long this dog is going to live, uh, how many times, how many different conclusions the dog is going to come to after it's the dog of, uh, you know, whoever, however many masters. But uh, at the end of the movie, at least, Bailey comes to this kind of profound conclusion about what he thinks, it's a he at that point, uh, thinks his <laughs> purpose is. And he said, have fun, find someone to save and save them. Lick the ones you love and be here now. And maybe that relates to the four different, you know, masters that he was under. Four different <laughs> lives. I don't know. It could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because this movie has reincarnation in it, sometimes the timeline was a little confusing. Mm -hmm. Like, we actually sat down and did the math. Like, how can Ethan still be alive? at this point wait yeah. how long uh, brain but it's important for you to touch on reincarnation as well um, yeah as just as a this is a you know a worldview that people have and it's something to to touch on it's not found in scripture it runs contrary to scripture and so um, you can use this as a springboard to talk about it cool all right ready talk about it 